Missing Necklace John Stone was a private detective. He lived in a small town called Rivertown. Everyone in Rivertown knew John. He was good at solving mysteries. One morning, John was drinking coffee at his desk. His office was small but neat. The phone rang. John answered it. Hello, is this Mr. Stone? E a worried voice asked. Yes, this is John Stone. How can I help you? John replied. My name is Mrs. White. I need your help. My necklace is missing. It was very expensive and has been in my family for generations. Can you find it? Mrs. White sounded desperate. Of course, Mrs. White. I'll come to your house right away, John said. John grabbed his coat and hat. He took his notebook and pen. Then, he left his office and walked to Mrs. White's house. It was a big, old house at the end of the street. Mrs. White was waiting for him at the door. Thank you for coming so quickly, Mr. Stone, she said. Please, call me John. Tell me more about the necklace and when you last saw it, John said. Mrs. White led John to the living room. They sat down on a soft sofa. Mrs. White took a deep breath. The necklace has large diamonds and a gold chain. I last saw it in my bedroom, on my dressing table. That was two days ago. I went out to visit a friend, and when I came back, it was gone. Mrs. White explained. Who else was in the house that day? John asked, taking notes. Only the maid, Mary, and the gardener, Tom. They have both worked for me for many years. I trust them completely, Mrs. White said. John nodded. I need to speak with them. Can you call them, please? Mrs. White rang a bell. A few moments later, Mary and Tom entered the room. Mary was a young woman with kind eyes. Tom was an older man with rough hands from working in the garden. Mary, Tom, this is Mr. Stone. He is here to help find my missing necklace. Mrs. White said. John looked at Mary first. Mary, can you tell me where you were two days ago? Mary looked nervous but answered, I was cleaning the house all day. I didn't see anything unusual. John then turned to Tom. What about you, Tom? Tom scratched his head. I was working in the garden, as usual. I didn't go inside the house. John thought for a moment. Can I see the bedroom where the necklace was last seen? Mrs. White led John upstairs to her bedroom. The room was large and bright. The dressing table was near the window. John looked around carefully. He saw that the window was slightly open. Did you leave the window open? John asked. Mrs. White shook her head. No, I always keep it closed. John looked outside the window. There was a ladder leaning against the house. It seemed strange to him. Who used this ladder recently? John asked. 
Mrs. White looked surprised. I don't know. Maybe Tom used it for trimming the trees. John went back downstairs and asked Tom about the ladder. Yes, I used it last week to trim the trees, Tom said. John thought hard. Something was not right. He decided to check the garden. He saw footprints near the ladder. They were small, like a woman's. Mary, can you come here for a moment? John called out. Mary came running. Yes, Mr. Stone? Can you show me your shoes, please? John asked. Mary looked puzzled, but showed her shoes. They matched the footprints near the ladder. Why were you in the garden near the ladder? John asked. Mary started to cry. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. I didn't want to steal it. I only took the necklace to look at it. It was so beautiful. I was going to put it back, but then I got scared. Where is the necklace now? John asked gently. Mary took a deep breath and led John to her room. She opened a drawer and took out the necklace. She handed it to John. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to cause any trouble, Mary said, tears in her eyes. John took the necklace and patted Mary's shoulder. It's okay, Mary. I'm glad you told the truth. John went back to Mrs. White and handed her the necklace. She was overjoyed. Thank you so much, John. How can I ever repay you? She exclaimed. Just doing my job, Mrs. White. And maybe be a bit more careful with valuable items in the future, John said with a smile. Mrs. White nodded. I will. And I'll make sure Mary knows that she can talk to me if she needs anything. John left the house, feeling satisfied. Another case solved, and justice done. He walked back to his office, thinking about his next adventure. Life as a private detective was never boring and he loved every minute of it.